In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to Newton, one of our arc clusters, by using a MacBook or a Mac. Um, in this case, I have already copied over my uh, my folder, uh, my files, which includes my um, private key, my public key, and my passphrase. Um, those were given to me, um, so those will be given to you as well. But I just put it in a folder in Documents, and I created this folder called Arc, and I placed those files in there. So in Documents, I now have a folder called Arc, and inside that folder, I have my PPK, my .pub, and then my passphrase. Go ahead and open up your passphrase because we're going to be using that that passphrase for connecting um, with your private key later on. But once you've copied over these files and you've created your own folder, I just put mine in documents. It's easier for me to remember. You may want to put yours in desktop or um, in downloads or wherever you want, but just remember where you put that. So mine is in, um, in documents, and then I created a folder called ARC. So once you have that, once you have your keys set, I'm going to go ahead and open up um, the, the spotlight. The, I can just click the search. Um, magnifying glass up there and I'm going to type in terminal terminal I'll hit enter to open up the terminal and then it's going to take me to home this is my um, my home I'll just do print work, working directory you see it users Sean but I want to navigate to that folder that has my keys and so I'm going to do a CD space document and then um, arc was the folder that I created so I have documents slash arc and I press enter and then when I do an ls, you see there's my, my private key, my public key, and that passphrase txt um, that I had. So I just know now that I'm in the right directory. I can do a print working directory again, and it verifies that I'm in documents and arc there. So that's great. The next thing that we have to do is we have to set the permissions on our key to, verif to make sure that we have access to it. So the command we're going to type in is chmod altogether, chmod space. 600 and then we're going to type in the private key so it's id underscore rsa dot ppk so when you type in this command chmod a space 600 space the private key name so id underscore rsa dot ppk we're just changing the permissions and we hit enter and now we've set the permissions that we, we can start using this private key so the next thing, once we've verified, um, we, we've verified that we're inside this directory and we change the modifications, the access to this file, we can go ahead and connect to Newton. And we're going to use SSH to do this. So we're going to type in SSH space dash capital Y space dash I space. Now we're going to um, pass in that private key that we just had. So ID, um, ID underscore RSA dot PPK space. Our username, my username just for this test is crcvreu.student. This is just mine. You're going to be using yours. Um, probably if you if you received a username, you'll just be putting that username there. At And because we're connecting to the Newton cluster in this example, I'm going to type in newton.ist.ucf.edu. And I'll just verify. So it should say SSH space dash capital Y space dash lowercase i space the name of our file our private key so id underscore rsa dot ppk space our username and then at newton dot ucf uh, sorry at newton at ist dot ucf dot edu i'll press enter and then it's going to ask me for that passphrase that i looked in that txt um, you may have received your passphrase or generated your own but i'm going to type in my passphrase and i'll hit enter it's going to log me in. Great. It says the last login type. And just to verify the files that I have, I'm going to just do ls. There's some files that I have created for me. Um, I'll do print working directory just to make sure now I am in home and in my user account. So that's it. That's how you're able to connect using SSH to get into the cluster.